Good news? I guess you could say that. Involving Ridge, I imagine. Actually, it involves his mother. I just came from seeing her. What about? Her son. You talked to Mrs. Forrester about Ridge? Pretty incredible, isn't it? Given the way she feels about me. How'd it go? Not bad. Not bad at all. Mom, how would you feel if I were to throw a surprise party? Here? For Ridge. It's his birthday next week. Oh, that's what you discussed with Mrs. Forrester. I asked her. What'd she say? She didn't say no. Well, I think it's an excellent idea. Mom, I really believe I'm making some headway with that woman. Not that she's ready to accept me as her future daughter-in-law, but at least she's talking to me. You think she'll come to the party? No. She has a lot going on in her life right now. But then you know about that, don't you? I know you're hoping this isn't becoming a habit. Why would I hope that? You're a woman who values her privacy. I'm also a woman who appreciates attention. Here. What is it? Something I made. Open it. For me? For you. Well, it's, it's lovely. I don't know what to say. Will you wear it? If you'd rather not, I understand. Clark, I have to be very honest with you. At this moment, I really have less and less influence with my husband. Where's that coming from? It comes from the fact that we had an arrangement. I was going to ask my husband to look at your drawings. I don't think that's going to happen now. That's OK. It is? You think I'm trying to buy you with an inexpensive jewelry I make in my workshop? <laughs> you really made this? For what it's worth. Maybe worth a lot more than you think. I hope so. Did you make one of these for Kristen? Oh. I just came from a preview of the fall collection. That show is going to be spectacular. What's this? Oh, just a sketch. Ah. Oh. Looks like a lot more than that. You like it? You obviously do. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I like it very much. Mr. Forrester called me earlier. He did. He wanted to talk. He's very confused, Mother, by you. Brooke, I... I really don't want to talk about this. Why, Mom? Why did you treat him that way? This doesn't and shouldn't involve you. He's hurt, disillusioned, totally mystified. 
Look, it's not like he wanted to confide in me, but he needed some answers. And so do I. How could you turn your back on a man you love so much? Especially when it finally looks like you're going to be able to spend some time with him. No. Brooke, there is so much more going on here than you're aware of. What? Tell me what's going on. I can't. Why not? Honey, this involves more than Eric Forrester. What does it involve? Mom, you've been acting weird all week. I want to know what's going on here. Are you having trouble, too? Because I concentrate on homework with all that's going on with Mom. You know what I think? What? That we have to tell Brooke and Storm. Todd, are you kidding? Mom would have a fit. I don't care. Katie, Storm and Brooke have a right to know. If it were you, wouldn't you want to know? Katie, our mother could be dying. No, she's going to be OK. Sure she is. She's going to be just fine. Brooke and Storm should know about this. What's going on with you two? I don't believe it. Kristen Forrester is falling in love. It's a little early to call it that. No, oh, you're sitting around sketching the gentleman's face. Now, if that isn't love. Big deal. If I was a cocktail waitress, I'd be giving him free gin and tonics. It's all very innocent. <laughs> He thinks the lady does protest too much. So what does your mother have to say about all this? Mm, nothing. You haven't told her? My mother? You have to be kidding me. Now, I bet the two of you were arguing a lot less these days. That's true. We are. Love is an amazing thing, isn't it? In fact, for the first time in I don't know how long, we're getting along better. I don't feel as much anger towards her. Like, there's nothing she could do to hurt me anymore. Maybe I am falling in love. No. I didn't make one of these for your daughter. Are you going to? You asked me to stop seeing her. Well, I don't think you have to see my daughter, because I really don't think she has any problems with men. Is that the only reason you'd like me to stay away from her? Don't ask me to answer that. I need you to, Stephanie. Why? My feelings. I've made them obvious. But I still don't know where I stand with you. The fact that we're here in my home and we're talking like this, I think that's enough, isn't it? I suppose so. Clark, look, I'm... I'm at a very, very vulnerable moment in my life. And you are <laughs> the proverbial younger man. I'm in the middle of a marriage, and I guess a midlife crisis, and I... I mean, who stands to get hurt here? You and your husband patch things up. I'd say I'd be hurt. Hi, Storm. Hi. You two look kind of freaked out. 
What's up? Nothing, Storm. Katie. Something I should know about Donna? Yes. Well, what is it? It's Mom. Mom? Storm, there's something wrong with her. There might be something wrong with her. There probably isn't. What are you two talking about? Dr. Bailey found a lump in Mom's breast. Oh, God. So that's what's been bothering her. You know, it isn't necessarily cancer. Where is she now? Downstairs. Storm. She doesn't want you to know about this. How did you two find out? I overheard Mom and Grandma talking. Then everybody knows but me? Well, Brooke doesn't know yet. Look, Storm, Katie's right. It might not be serious. Did they do any tests? They did a mammogram. And what did it show? That yes, there is a lump, and there's also something called calcification. But the lump, did, they didn't prove that it was malignant? No. They have to do a biopsy. Look, I appreciate Mom not wanting me to know, but there are some things that I have to know, and this is one of them. Now, don't you ever keep anything like this from me again, ever. You understand? I'm asking you, please, not to press me on this. I have to, Mother. I'm sorry, but I've got to know. Honestly, honey, you don't. What are you hiding? What could it be? Does anybody else know about this? Who, Mom? Who else? Brooke, I am begging you. If I have to go around and ask everybody in this house, I will, and somebody's going to tell me what is going on. Can't you see? I am trying You're to... trying to protect me, and I don't want to be protected. If you're in any trouble or anything, Mom, tell me, because I want to help you. It isn't what you think. <sighs> I'm through. I do not want to argue anymore. Where's Storm and Donna? Upstairs? Brooke? No. Work all bit. Hi. Hi. Let me guess. Something in crepe de chine? Maybe a deep oval neckline? Or something in sub taffeta? Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. But you do have something to show me. I will. You haven't even started? Sweetheart, a special design like I'm doing for your father. Takes time. Not if you're inspired. And I hope I've provided you with some of that. You're amazing. Suddenly you're too hot to handle. Why don't you handle me and see? Are you OK? Yeah, uh, of course. Why? There's something different about you, Clark. What is it? Different. Me? You're the one who's changed. No, I can sense it, Clark. What is it about you? All right. I confess. I had a facelift. I'm serious. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it me, Clark? You? Feelings change, sometimes overnight. You're making much too much out of this. Are you telling me my instincts are wrong? Kristen, I've just been preoccupied. I'm trying to come up with the perfect design. This plan of yours, I want it to work. It will, it will, don't worry. 
I submit a fabulous design to my dad. He loves it. Then we tell him it's yours. Well, suddenly, you find yourself working at Forrester Creations. Hopefully next to me. You have so much faith in me. Why shouldn't I? I mean, you've set me free. How have I set you free? You haven't been able to tell? But I haven't done anything. Maybe that's why I feel this way. You haven't come on to me. You've given me space, room to grow. I've never had that kind of a relationship. I mean, most men start to attack me the minute they get me alone in a car. I had my moments on our first few dates. I don't think that didn't concern me. But things have changed. Almost as though you've backed off a little. And that was just what I needed. And you knew it. You give me too much credit. No. I don't give you nearly enough. Stop. I have to. Why? You do have a problem, don't you, Kristen? If I do or I don't, you're not gonna find out tonight. Goodbye, love. those stairs. Grandma, I have a right to know. And you will. In time. Why not now? Because there is nothing to know right now, Brooke. Believe me, there isn't. Yes, there is, Mom. Mom, we had to. They told you. You can't keep something like this from us, lady. Anything else, but not this. What, Storm? What is it? Do you want to tell her, or do I? I went in for an exam, a routine. Uh, Dr. Bailey, he found a lump in my breast. Oh, no. There is no reason to be alarmed. I'm having a biopsy done in a couple of days, and until then, we are going to treat this as nothing unusual. Do you all understand that? Do you know what that means? It means no long faces, no nervous looks, no pretending there is a problem where one does not exist, because until I'm told there's a problem, I am not going to create one. Now, that is how it's going to be, because that is how I want it. That's why you didn't say anything to Mr. Forrester. You felt you could. 